Text B blogs are a number of short clips so that any bee can view and learn from. Become a subscriber to my YouTube channel, Honey Bee Tech. Eight different series of educational videos. Included are extra playlists. Okay, wax. Right, so this is our wax. We'll just get it out the road. I cut my foundation so that there is space of a couple of millimetres inside the actual frame. I have been doing this for nearly 40 years and have always had a full depth frame of comb, no gaps on the bottom. At times the foundation after it's purchased is too long so therefore I cut it to suit. That gets trade in for wax. You don't waste any of it. Fits in there now, see so it wouldn't fit there before. Yeah. Fits perfect. You have, have your gap at the top. You, mm -hmm. don't, you, you don't have your gap at the bottom. The bees will fill the gap at the top but they won't fill the gap at the bottom. This is a humongous honey flow. A sheet of wax is placed on the template so that the frame is not touching the horse and allows the wires to be embedded into the wax foundation. I have found that, that the wax can expand when it's being drawn around the 34 degree C mark and should be not touching the frame. Otherwise the drawn comb can bow in the frames. My 1965 vintage embedder still works the same as the day I made it. Very, very efficient. until that wax solidifies, it goes cold, otherwise if you get pulled off too quick or well, the wax, wax around the wire is not hardened, it'll just pull the wire straight back out again. It's the last one. Your turn. Okay.